I need to show you what you look like right now because this is a dangerous setup. <laughs> trying to get this angle and trying to also include the kitchen is hard when I've got like very limited space that way. So I'm just going to take a video on my phone and show you guys now what you look like. This is what you look like. And you're on a table. <laughs> Please don't fall on me while we film this video. Okay, cool, bye. Welcome to my kitchen. There is the stove and the sink. And what I've done for people who are new, I just use a big chopping board to cover the sink so I actually have somewhere to cut things. Japanese apartments are very small and usually only contain one stove top and usually little to no bench space. But they usually have really big sinks, which I don't understand. Like, they'll just give you a giant sink but then they'll just give you no bench space. But this place has a normal size sink and one stove top, so we are good to go. Today I wanted to make pumpkin soup. This isn't a recipe video. Um, I'm gonna be doing things all over the shop, so we're just gonna have a chat and eat some good food. First, I'm gonna take my water and put it in this saucepan. Yeah, that's good. And then you turn it on and you wait for it to do its thing. While we're waiting, we're gonna chat up, chat, chat up this pumpkin. Chop up this pumpkin. How much was this? It's like 200 yen, I think, for half a little pumpkin. Which is fine, because it's gonna feed me for like two or three meals, maybe. I don't know, I eat a lot of food, so probably not. Last time I did a cooking video, I had someone comment and they were a bit stressed out, because I don't cut things um, how you're supposed to, how chefs cut things with like their hands, I think it's like this. I started like trying to learn how to cut, cut it like this but because I've cut everything my whole life the same way I think it's more dangerous for me now to start cutting things differently because it just feels really wrong and I feel like I'm gonna cut myself more than if I just like stick with the old ways. I find that the pumpkins here are a bit tougher <laughs> than Australian pumpkins. This is gonna be a slow process so it's a good job that there's um, that I can edit things because I'm slow at cooking. <laughs> But it's not so much about the destination, it's about the journey, right? But yeah, I just usually cut it like that and then ooh, do little chunks. And then just as I go, I put them in the pot. Ah, oh thank god it's not boiling, that would have hurt so much. Last time I made pumpkin soup, I uh, made the soup and I, I took it off and I put it on the floor because I do that because I don't have any bench space. and. I just kind of like mixed it there and then I, I, it was really thick and then I put it back on the stove but I turned it off but I just forgot that the, so the stove was still hot and so it, it was too thick to like boil or anything so it just started making this air bubble and I had no idea and I walked back over here and like this bubble just went Bleh! and this pumpkin soup, it was so hot, just like landed on me. It had a little bit of a burn. You can't see it at all, but there's like a tiny little spot there, but it just like landed here and I was like, yeah! I survived though. It doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. I went to an improv class two days ago and it was awesome. I had a really good time. And it was good because I haven't done like theatre in ages. Back in Australia at uni, I could just like go to a room and just like free flow or meet up with some friends and create whatever I wanted whenever, but here because I guess I don't speak the language very well and I'm in my tiny apartment and I'm <laughs> figuring out life. I'm not yet at the stage where I can fully release my inner fun times. <laughs> how can I, how can I say that? Fully, as they say in Don't Hug Me I'm Scared, get creative, but like a healthy kind of creative. YouTube's helped though, YouTube's helped a lot. Well, that's one of the reasons why I started YouTube as well. It's just to have somewhere that I can just go bleh. <laughs> Also, I always waste so much pumpkin like when I cut it, but I'm just impatient and I don't know a better way to do it. Tell me, how do you cut pumpkin? Is there a way that you do it that doesn't get rid of so much pumpkin? <sighs> okay, one piece of pumpkin to go. I love pumpkin soup, but I just get sick of cutting things. That's the thing, like, I, I'd like to have you guys here when I cook, because it's like someone to talk to. <laughs> Rather than just, or usually I'll like play some music or I'll dance. Ah, <sighs> pumpkin is done. I've got a yellow orange hand, can you see that? And it's a little bit orange. Orange in Japanese is orangey. Okay, let's put the stuff in the thing. So tomorrow is garbage day, which is great. 
But um, in Japan, well, the rules are that you have to have your garbage out on the day before 8 a.m., which is like, I was like, okay, but you're not allowed, the rules are, you're not allowed to take it out the night before, which is like, okay, so I have to get up before 8 a.m. on these specific days to take my rubbish out, which is just like... <laughs> What if I want to sleep? What if that's someone's actual, like, only day off? So what I do is I, I take it out at, like, midnight. Because <laughs> I'm usually still awake, because I have bad life choices. Pumpkin. Pum, pum. Now I'm going to take two potatoes and peel them and pour them in, because it just gives it a bit more substance rather than just pumpkin. Also, Leave your own pumpkin soup recipes in the description because I'm always up to try new things. I do love pumpkin soup because it's actually quite cheap, like for a vegetable based dish. I find that vegetables and fruit here can be a bit on the pricey side and so if you can find any way to just have a simple dish with veggies in it, it's like a success. I'm going to wash our potatoes in the little bit of the sink we have. And I'm just going to chop them up into... Oh, that cuts so much easier than the pumpkin. Pumpkin is so tough here. Veggies are in the pot. In the bin. Potato peel. Okay, I'm just going to wait for it to boil. Uh, and in that time, I'm just going to dance and answer some emails. Oh, I have pumpkin on my hands and I rubbed it in my hair. Mm. Okay, talk soon. Yeah. Oh, I touched it. Oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. So this morning I woke up and sometimes when I wake up, well, I'll just get like things in my head that just keep repeating themselves. And this morning I woke up and I was so asleep and it was dark and I was like, oh, and I just had like the sentence, it's such a problem. It, like it was problem, but with Bob instead of problem. And I thought it was the funniest. You're so problematic. <laughs> oh, the, probab the probability. Probab probability. So finally, for the first time in my life, I've invested in one of these, which also comes with a food processor attachment. I don't know what you call these. Some people call them blending sticks. I call them zhuzhes. But it was only like 2,000 and something yen, so 20 something dollars. And it, I use it every day for like chia seed puddings or pumpkin soup or whatever. If you don't have one, do not fret. It is more convenient, but when I was at university, I always, I started with a fork. I made pumpkin soup with a fork. Shush! Or like mashed potato with a fork. Uh, and after that, I used a potato masher for like pumpkin soup and stuff. And it's totally fine. Like, any, whatever you do, you, you can figure out a way to make it work. Like, don't let society's standards of blending sticks hold you back. Such big pieces of bread, huh? Look at that. Amazing. Beautiful. Art. Oh, how are these going to fit inside my toaster oven? I have no idea. Oh, dang it. I just get excited when I see sales and then I just, I just buy things that won't make sense in my house. I've got my butter. Okay. Alright, everyone say hello to my mini toaster oven. Yes, I know it looks like someone got angry and gave it a bit of a hard time, but it's okay. Oh, it's dirty. Well, I can't get these stains off. These brown bits. Can I turn it round to make it look better? No, it's all just bad. So just pretend it's clean and lovely and let's... I can't. <laughs> I can't. No. If I do it like that, I can't fit the other one in. <laughs> Japan. Why are you giving me silly bread? Can I squish it in? <gasps> no. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can do the other one. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. <laughs> Heck yes. Alright, I'm just gonna leave that and let it melt. Okay. It's probably gotten rid of too much water. Alright, let's bring you down. I have now got a new little table, which is awesome. I got it from Ikea. Okay, don't don't hurt me and let's just do this. <coughs> Toast is done. <coughs> 
Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and butter, which is in the fridge, which I can't reach because I put the table in the way. Oh no, easy, 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 easy. And I'm putting in quite a bit of butter to give it more flavour. Okay, I think it's done. Okay guys, the real reason I wanted to make this video is to show you this cute little soup pot. <laughs> that I have. It was only 500 yen and I eat soup so often I was just like, it just melted my heart. And it's really thick. <laughs> Maybe I should have added more water. But I like thick soups. I think they're super awesome. Okay, so let's look at the toast. Yep, I, that's the way I like it. I like it kind of like almost, almost kind of burnt. Okay, let's eat. Trying to get in the shot with the food in this tiny space is a little challenging. <sighs> Maybe that's as good as we're gonna get it. <laughs> Man. Also, I snacked a bit on the soup. It's really good. It's very thick, but that's how I like my soup. I I'm sorry if that's disappointing to some soup lovers out there. <laughs> looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Okay, cool. I'm gonna sit here, eat a whole bunch of this, and then. I'm gonna go out and buy a swimsuit. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, and if you like this video, leave a comment and I, maybe I can start like a video series of just like talking and making food. <laughs> yeah, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I make videos about Japan and this tiny apartment and my life in general, so follow along if you wanna join in on the journey of whatever this is. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Ah, <laughs> my arm burnt on the soup. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Jane. Jane. Okay, I want to eat. I want to eat. I'm so hungry. Okay. Bye.